Right, firstly, before I start this video, I just wanted to apologise for the, the lack of videos I've been uh, posting recently. Um, I have been at university studying and I've also been a more active artist in the community, so I haven't got as much time. But I'm hoping to do three videos over Christmas, so um, please subscribe to support me um, and look out for them. Alright, so in this video I'm just going to be showing you practically all of my tools for art, so all of the different medias I use. Uh, I'm going to be starting off with pencils. Now these are my normal pencils. Mars Lumograph Stadler. Or Stadler, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, these I think were about £17. Um, we're looking at about $30. Uh, and the way these pencils work are they go from excluding F they go from 4H to 6B. H's are more grey, I find, whereas B's are more black. Uh, somewhere in the middle, B. This is the ideal pencil, hence why it's the shortest, because I use it too much. Uh, and the 4H here, probably the longest because it's the hardest. H for hard, uh, and it, it just it never sees to go down. <laughs> so you can use it all you want, and that, that pencil will last you years. Okay. Moving on, I have mechanical pencils. Now these are better for detail, whereas these pencils, they're better for maybe covering space, uh, large areas, and if you want to be smudging the pencils, they're the ones you want to use. Mechanicals, if I just show you, they have a fine point. And these are great for drawing hair or any fine details, like I said. <clears throat> When you come into smudging, um, earbuds or Q-tips, whichever one you prefer to call them, these are great. You just circle an area and you'll smudge. Um, alternatively, tissues. Again, just cover in the area. And when you want to rub out, I strongly recommend a putty rubber. This is one that you can press into all sorts of shapes and not only does it really pull off the lead from the paper but you can pinch it into a shape. Pinch it to a point there and that's really good for highlighting things. I also use this rubber which you may have seen in a lot of my videos. Um, if you keep cutting off the top with a knife, just, just gently cutting it off, then you can highlight areas because you have a clean rubber and it'll pick off all the lead and it works really effectively especially for uh, using hair I find just doing this Okay. Right, next I want to move on to charcoals these are probably my second favorite medium um, I'll just open this for you you normally get a pack of about ten maybe these charcoals are Willow. And these sticks they can get quite messy, but again they're good for covering large areas like the uh, the uh, pencils I showed you. Um, you can also blend these using the same mediums I showed you, but I find that uh, charcoals are very hard to blend. Um, if you if you want to try and blend them, you'll lift it off the paper. Okay. Um, I also use these. These are charcoal pencils as well, but these are a lot darker. These are better for detail again. And at the other end of the spectrum, we've got white pastel. Uh, what's this? Chinese white. Uh, this one works really well in combination with charcoal. It's used for lightening an area or making it more grey. And chalk. Again, for the same reason. You can uh, choose which one suits you best, but um, I think the Chinese white pastel probably does it for me. Now then, move on to papers for these two. I'm just going to start off with the charcoal paper. This is an A3, I also have an A4, um, and the paper, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it's quite textured, and you need a textured paper 
for charcoal drawings. Then for pencil, I have this. Now this is a Bristol board, 250 GSM. I think that's grams per square meter, something like that. Um, you want your paper to be nice and thick, nice and glossy, so you can make it a uh, nice smudge and um, just so you can see like a, a more um, smoother finish to it. I think it, the, the paper really makes a, uh, a difference. So you need to invest in some good paper, some good pencils and charcoal. Okay, next, uh, I'm just trying to think how many mediums I can get in this video. I'll try soft pastels. Now these ones are Rembrandt soft pastels. Again, these are quite messy. If you want to see these in use, you can watch the uh, speed drawing of Jason Derula. Um, I'll just show you. Now these break quite easily and they also wear quite easily, so you might need to buy new ones quite often if you intend to use them. Uh, and at the same time, this works quite well with it. It is just practically a pastel, pastel pencil. So it works the same as those. But they're, they're both really good quality. Rembrandt I would really advise if you want to uh, have a go at soft pastels. Now these are compressed charcoal. Now I find that when you come to carbon based uh, tools, these are as black as you're going to get. They're really... <laughs> there's no other way to put it, they are really black. When you compare them to lead, um, it really brings a contrast. And if you've got, say, a black background, or you really want to make a pupil seem dark, I would really advise using these. Okay. Some other mediums. I'm moving away from the carbon-based ones now. These are Letraset illustration pens. Now, I'm not the best with illustration pens, but I do enjoy using them. Let's try this one. I can just show you. Now, this has four heads. So I'll just get through these. And they're obviously specialised in their own ways. You can get a lot of uh, pens like this. Uh, this one I would really advise though, it works quite well. And I have several, I think I have something like 14 different colours actually in that. But they don't blend, that's the problem. They don't blend very well, uh, so if, if you want to use them, it's best to use them in some sort of mixed media process. Um, I think we'll move on to paint. Firstly, these are, the, these are oil paint brushes. And they're really long. I'm not sure why they're long. I don't know if there's a purpose to it. Uh, this one, finer detail maybe. This one is the usual one. One that you use just for general things. And this is the fan. Now you can keep this at a point, as you can see there. And use it for hair, or you can just use it for blending. I think both work quite well. Uh, and onto the paints. I have quite a few oil paints, which is surprising really because I don't enjoy using oil paints. Let me just show you this one. These are Winton. Uh, Windsor and Newton Winton. And they're, I'm not sure they are great quality, but I would recommend them. They work quite well. Um, you can also use either two of these, even though it's really sticky. Lovely. Um, and they will either make the substance dry faster or make it smoother and more blending. Either way, these still work really well. Um, and again, I have acrylics. These you mix with water, uh, so they're complete opposites to oil. You cannot mix them, but they're both really good. I would recommend both of them. And that's pretty much all I have to show you at the moment. So keep an eye out for some more videos to come. And I look forward to seeing you soon.